Yes, according to one of the sports observers that I talked to yesterday, that the government must sit together with FIFA and also the Football Association of Indonesia to basically discuss a way to find a solution instead of pointing a finger at each other because uh, this is not the first uh, fatal incident during football matches in Indonesia and this might not be the last if they don't improve the security at the stadiums. Mm. Was trouble expected from the outset? Yes, because this is a classic derby between Arema and Persibaya, which are arch enemies uh, because they come from the same province in East Java. And their supporters have, they are infamous for their uh, characteristics, including their fanaticism, because the supporters of Persibaya, they can't stand Arema and vice versa. So that's why the government, uh, the police uh, actually told the organizer that they should not uh, have the match uh, in the evening and actually uh, carry it out uh, in the afternoon. But then they decided not to invite the supporters from the visiting team, which is Persebaya. So that's why they were given the green light to actually hold the match in the evening. But the another reason was uh, because the organizers also printed tickets for 40 to 42,000 uh, supporters instead of 38,000, which is like the stadium capacity. Yeah, so it was already jam-packed. Um, you know, as you talked about proper cooperation between authorities, council authorities or government authorities and, and the soccer organisation, um, what type of arrangement do they have at the moment? Well, normally uh, they have like a security at the stadium and then they have uh, deployed like a police and the number of police depends on the severity of the match. Uh, but if it's between arc enemies or uh, rivals like Arema and Persebaya, for example, in this case, and also Persib and Persija, which is uh, Bandung versus Jakarta uh, football clips, then they will typically uh, improve uh, the number of uh, security personnel being deployed. But uh, to anyone's... Um, uh, Nobody like actually expected that they actually carry tear gas because that violates uh, FIFA's rules. Yeah, so do, do we understand why they did that? Because that must have only exacerbated the problem. Uh, we don't understand at this point in time because they are still launching the investigation, but the police have said that they are questioning 18 police personnel um, who were equipped with uh, tear gas uh, launchers during the match. And um, there might be... There's like a suspicion that the police does not have the standard operating procedure on how to properly disperse the crowd during uh, football matches. Uh, so they use the standard operating procedure that they've been using to disperse the crowd during uh, massive protests, which is to use um, tear gas. Mm. The tragedy, too, is that so many of the victims were children. Uh, you know, that in itself is, again, what sort of precautions should be taken when there are children going to these very volatile matches? Yeah, and I talked to uh, the uh, sports observer, uh, like he's a coach in, in a football uh, team, and then he said that it's actually normal for uh, families to attend these football matches in Indonesia, but the difference is, unlike in Western Europe and other uh, developed countries, the securities are not uh, well equipped to actually handle riots and what happens uh, when women and children are trapped or, uh, you know, during, um, during incidents like this. So they're actually one of the things that they must improve to, like, during this investigation. Yeah. You know, the government's talking about providing some form of compensation. I mean, it, it, there, there would be a concern, though, that this is just something that they want to... If they pay some compensation, which obviously the families would welcome, but, but not properly investigate this and have in place um, rules that will prevent this from happening again. Yeah, because several human rights organizations have pointed out the fact that the police uh, are tasked to investigate themselves. So how would that pan out? Like, uh, if the police actually investigate themselves, then what could stop them from, like, actually saying that, hey, we did nothing wrong? So that's why the government answering to this criticism, then they um, established this independent fact-finding team to actually find solution and to find the culprits behind these incidents. So uh, money is not the answer. Everybody, especially in the football world, because this is not the first time, and everybody's saying that this might not be the last time. So we need to find a solution to prevent uh, pitch invaders, to improve security, and to uh, find a solution on you know, the security of the stadium so 
uh, everything uh, goes according to the FIFA standard. Mm. Good to talk to you, Resty. Appreciate your time. Thank you.